Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very fun video. It is 10 makeup habits that I quit in my 20s and I just made this list like five minutes ago and so I'm really excited to go over some habits that I have dropped and just go over like why I change things and I think it's all for the better and if you do these things, I'm not saying that they're wrong. These are just habits that I started to break throughout the years. I've definitely adopted the mentality that do you whatever you like like it's your face it's your style and just as long as you're happy then continue to do so if you're new to my channel hello my name is Chrysler I like to do beauty videos I also have a vlog channel where I vlog over there and I like to do lifestyle videos I do sometimes go into more serious topics so if you like that too then please feel free to subscribe to my channel but let's get into the habits because they are so exciting the first makeup habit that I quit is wearing full coverage foundation or even medium to full coverage I should say and a matte finish it was always that I think it was definitely a trend um, like 10 years ago when YouTube first started off like everyone wore matte foundation definitely in like 2013 everything was matte and now there's been a shift to more of a natural finish and I really love that and thank goodness because I just look so flat in so many of my old photos. Of course, like they're just cringy in general, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I've just branched out and I've embraced a glow because it looks so much more natural and I like wearing makeup, but I don't want to look like I'm wearing a mask. It's just not my style anymore. Habit number two is concealing everything and back then I had a lot of acne, like acne all over my face and that's basically why I started this YouTube channel. I wanted to talk about covering acne and now my skin is a lot better. I still have some spots like on my face. I'm wearing a mask at work I think is kind of messing with the skin a little bit. But yeah, I don't really obsess over covering everything so much, like piling on the concealer so you can't see it, but you can still see a blemish because of the texture, but I wouldn't even care. So nowadays, I don't even put anything over something that's crusty because it just looks worse, so I'd rather just go with it looking like how it should with no makeup on. And honestly, if I'm going to take photos, I would rather just edit it out in post-production if it's a blemish that I am really self-conscious about because it's nothing that is like on my face permanently it's more a temporary thing that is just like hurting me a little bit so yeah i don't overly edit my photos i honestly don't even really take that many photos but i don't see the harm in covering like a couple blemishes because i don't really have that many the third one oh man this one really hits hard because I'm an esthetician and I do people's eyebrows for a living. I like shape them and give them beautiful brows and this is something that I have to deal with on a weekly basis. Um, so what I used to do is wear really dark brows but they were brows that were too large for my face. So <laughs> God. I can't even like look back at photos without cringing. Like my brows right now this is the darkest I would go and I'm only wearing slightly dark brows because I have liquid eyeliner on. Instagram made us go through some really tough times with the Instagram brow like super blocky and like the faded one I couldn't even do that. But yeah I'm just so happy that the fluffy, well sometimes too fluffy is not my, my thing either. Just brows that fit your face I think should be a trend. I think that having a certain brow shape shouldn't be a trend. I know that won't go away but I do think that being realistic about what your brows can do and what is flattering to your face is what is best and what is a trend that should be because that is one thing that I tell people I'm like straight up with them like you have big eyes you can pull off big brows but sometimes like having huge brows with like really tiny eyes just is not a thing and I think that was my case. Number four is staying away from cream products and only using powder. I exclusively use powder for years. I only started using creams in the past, I'd say five years, started dabbling and stuff, but I was just so always afraid and I think this ties into the whole matte look because I just didn't see creams and 
having a matte face going hand in hand because you've said it so what was the point but now that i have embraced a more dewy natural look creams are definitely fun to play with on certain occasions um, for certain ones still no for me so i have to experiment um, and i still love powders so much i just definitely am more open to the idea of using creams and liquid products the fifth makeup habit that i quit is always wearing black eyeliner and man oh man i wore a lot of black eyeliner it was it brown what is brown like that was me i am brown i'm not gonna wear brown even brown clothing i stayed away from brown and now i love brown so it's just all so weird oh my god it's just all so strange to me how afraid of brown i was except for on my eyes like eyeshadow i simply thought that i looked weird with brown eyeliner and i thought it was like for old people and maybe i'm just like old now i mean i am older but I like wearing brown. It's less harsh. It is just like easier to wear throughout the day. If it wears off, it's not so obvious. And it goes hand in hand with a really more natural look. Oh God, I love it. I love it so much. Number six, ooh, I gave this one up probably around four years ago. And that is the idea that your look is not complete without black winged eyeliner, which I am wearing today. And that is because I just, I honestly just felt like putting on my old self and it feels strange, I'm not gonna lie. And just seeing what liquid eyeliner looks like and seeing how it would do my eyes because they are changing a little bit or maybe they're not and it's all in my head. But yeah, I used to never go without black eyeliner. I thought it was the only way and then I started appreciating my eyelids for what they were, my tiny little hooded eyelids, and just letting the shimmery eyeshadow come through. It got really into glitter, and I think that's when it started to die off because using really glittery products would kind of get in the way with the eyeliner and it wouldn't be as harsh. And I stopped using gel. I used to use always gel eyeliner. I was expert level, and now I just use a like a pen usually. So yeah, it's fun seeing it on my face, but honestly, I don't have the patience for it anymore. Number seven is wearing an uncomfortable lip color. Oh my gosh. So back when liquid lipsticks were a thing, man, I had so many of them, and I would wear them, but I would just honestly be so unhappy. <laughs> I was so happy when that trend started to die off because it just wasn't fun. I would end up putting a lip balm over it and therefore it wasn't a matte lip anymore. And yeah, I was just so happy when that died and lip gloss became a thing because ugh, it's just so much better. And lip gloss brings me back to when I was in like seventh and eighth grade. Ugh, it was one of the first makeup products that my friends and I got into. We would get the Caboodles lip glosses with the Wet n Wild double-sided eyeliner, like blue and black. Oh my God, that was our thing. So yeah, no more uncomfortable lip products. I do have liquid lipsticks for maybe if I do a fun look and take a photo, which honestly I don't do, so why do I own them? Number eight is something that I feel like I recently let go of, and that was probably when I was like 28, and that is when I bought the Fenty bronzer. So before this bronzer, I would exclusively contour. There was no bronzer in my life I was like I'm tan already but I think throughout the years I just don't retain a tan as much so this is my natural skin color as you can see um, and I'm not outside as much so for most of the year I'm quite pale pale I know I'm not pale um, but for me I grew up being very tan like as a child so now I'm just like my normal skin color um, but I never wore bronzer and it was just such a weird concept to me to wear it, but now that I love a more natural look and I don't go out in the sun, it just ties it all in, especially on my forehead. I used to contour my forehead, and looking back now, I must have looked so weird because I do have a yellowy olive undertone, or sometimes neutral, it really depends on the time of the year, <laughs> but a cool contour with that undertone just doesn't look right. So thank God I mostly do bronzer and I'll just contour on the lower half of my face. So I'm very happy about that and I've embraced the bronzy look. Number nine is something that I am so happy that I stopped doing and that is collecting makeup that isn't my style, whether that's the kind of makeup 
um, the colors, the kinds of palettes. Um, I'm getting into more small palettes, not really buying palettes. Things like liquid eyeshadows or like cream eyeshadows. Oh my god, I can never do cream eyeshadows. They have to dry down. But I would try because I would see people buying them and hyping them up. So nowadays, I just buy what I like and I'll still dabble in color, but certain kinds of color. Um, I get a little guilty inside that I don't do fun makeup looks and I still love it but in a certain way so I don't go out and buy like neon eyeshadows and thank god I never did. I almost did. I almost bought the Urban Decay Electric Palette but I was like, Crisper, you are not going to use that so thank goodness I didn't and I just stick to more pastels or sometimes brights. It really depends. Um, but mostly shimmery color. That is my thing. And I'm very happy that I've found my style because it makes things so much easier when I do want to purchase something. And the final makeup habit that I quit is not wearing the right undertone. And this is something that, oh man, I would always wonder why certain things just look weird on me. And <laughs> that was it. Like wearing a mauve color on my lips. I have mobs or I don't even know if I still do but I would try it out with the look and I would have to take it off because it looks strange and it's because of the undertone like it's not because I couldn't wear purple it's like a cool purple so since I am a more warm neutral tone just cool tones don't look good and I used to wear green and blue eyeshadow but I have to wear it in a certain way where it doesn't look strange and even with clothing I'm starting to see like what really flatters me because of the undertone and I'll still wear things that you know are cooler undertones um, but not all the time which is why I've seen my makeup style really gravitate towards oranges and reds and yellows and like warm greens with yellow if I wear a green there's usually yellow or a blue with the yellow just to make it a bit warmer especially when it comes to trying out new makeup if I see collection and the undertones just aren't right I immediately know that I cannot purchase it because it'll just not work for me so those are the 10 makeup habits that I have quit throughout my 20s. I hope this video was helpful or just fun to watch. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a makeup habit that you have quit down in the comments because I'd love to hear it. And if you're new and want to see me next time, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload. And I hope we're having a magical day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.